Can you see me? Can you see me? I'm filming right now. Is the red light going? All right, algebra talk. Take one. This is grade seven material, unit six, lesson five. This is our first full capacity filming for my YouTube channel. Welcome to the Math Reflective. My name is Kathy Dixon. I hope you enjoy our number talk today. We've got a few students on Zoom, and we've got many, many students in the classroom. In fact, we've got 28 students in the classroom today, and we are gonna do a number talk and get everybody involved. Let's hear a one, two, three clap. One, two, three. All right, let's get started. Can you see the screen at all? Can you see it now? I'm recording right now. You can't take them anywhere. This is definitely the blooper reel. I cut out all this stuff anyway. Yeah, you can. Okay. So I want you to think about how this number talk is similar to the one in lesson four or different. One's fist to chest. So if you're, if you're at home, you're going to raise your hand using the emojis or the reaction tools so that I know that you have something to participate. Remember, we're gonna put you fist to chest. When we have a strategy, we're gonna show that we have a strategy. If we have another way to do it, we're gonna show two fingers, okay? All right, the first one is X minus one equals five. Yes? Um, I think I did it by I took five, and then since it's... What is, what is the solution for X? Oh, uh, six. X equals six, and how did you get six? I took five, and then I added one by... Because I know that whatever X was, I subtract that to get five. Okay, first you said five plus one, but now you're subtracting. So which one? What did you do? I took, I did five plus one. Five plus one is six. Okay, one, two, three, clap. One, two, three. Anybody think about it in a different way? Yes. Oh, okay, let me get this down. You changed this to adding the opposite. Yeah, and so then I knew that it would be the opposite, um, so I did plus one. I know it's so you were showing balance moves, right? You were considering this as X. I'll erase that. That's awesome. And you were doing the plus one to create, what is that called? We have a negative one plus one that's called a Z zero, pair. zero pair. Okay. As if we were doing two sides of an equation here. This creates a zero pair, so X is six. Awesome. One, two, three. Very nice. Okay, I'm probably not even, I probably wasn't even in the, was I even in it? Okay, scared me for a second. All right, let's look at this one. Two times the quantity X minus one equals 10. Start with fist to chest. What would the solution to X be and how did you get it? X is six, that's the solution that would make that equation true and how did you get that, Anna? Uh, I first started looking for something that uh, would equal 10 because the 2's there, so I knew that you start with 1, and if we do 6 minus 1, that equals 5, and then 2 times 5 equals 10. 2 times something equals 10, and you figured that was 2 times 5 equals 10. Yes. Excellent. 1, 2, 3. Anybody have a different path to that same problem? Yes. Wait, did you say the three was extra? No, so the three was next to the x minus one, but I knew that you had to multiply it to get the fifteen. This? Oh, I'm doing another problem. Oh, are you you're doing another problem? Yeah. Can you apply that same strategy to here? Can you say instead of the three, because you're on a different problem? I think you can apply that same strategy that you just said. I'll give you a few seconds to think about it. I believe in you. Oh yeah. Since, um, Okay, so and two times five. something is ten, and you figure that has to be five. Yeah. And if it's something minus one equals five, you know it has to be six. six. Very nice. One, two, three. All right, let's go on to the next one. This is the one you originally were talking about. Let's have somebody else explain this one. X equals six again. Okay. Um, because first of all, I know three times blank is 15, and I know a uh, factor of that is five. 
And so I was thinking maybe I could do 6 minus 1, and I would get 5, and then 3 times 5 equals 15. Awesome job. Yes. One, two, three. So first I would add one to, so I would do the PEMDAS format and add one and isolate the variable inside the parentheses. Okay. So you're adding one and isolating the variable? So if I add one, then that would just be X because inside the parentheses it's X. So you're saying to add one here. Mm -hmm. So that would just have X. Then, uh, but you have to do the same thing on the other side. You can't just do it inside. Okay. That's a great thought, but remember with balance moves, what we do to one side, we have to do to the other side of the equal sign. Can you make it work somehow? Um, so, add one inside the parentheses. Add one to the 15. Um, then that's just 3 times x, um, 15 divided. That would be equal 16. Does that work? No. Okay. What did we learn from that, though? This is a great, that's okay. We're going to honor that he's taking a risk. One, two, three. And we're going to celebrate that because it's, it's going to stretch all of our brains. Why didn't this work? Because usually with the order of operations, we do the inside the parentheses first. Absolutely. How come we can't here? How come we can't, Brennan? Because it, it will change the final answer. Well, do we know this yet? No. So that's why we can't do that first. That's why it forces us to do a property that we're going to be learning about soon called the distributive property. So you focused on these two, and you did 15 divided by 3. You did 5 plus 1. You had to do the opposite. I think that's where your thinking was. You had to do 5 plus 1 equals 6. Good job. 1, 2, 3. Did you have something else to add? Um, so I actually uh, drew a tape diagram. You drew a tape diagram. Oh my gosh, I'd love to see this. X minus 1 three times. Is that like this? Yeah. Awesome! And then uh, the, the total is 15. The total is 15 because that's the right side of our equation. So then, Just so this picks up on camera, I'm going to change this to a darker color. Okay? You change it to plus a negative one. All right, awesome job, class. Now we're going to dive into some more situations and tape diagrams. Are you ready for more? Yes. 